So I mentioned in my last video about Lunchly that Dan TDM responded to the whole situation with his own tweet saying, what happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them do better. And this was simply just Dan TDM responding to this announcement by Mr. Beast KSI and Logan Paul for their lunch like product, which is a Lunchables competitor, just giving his opinion, right? And he's totally allowed to do that. And he's especially allowed to do that considering the fact that he's a parent who is in the market of potentially wanting to buy these and he sees it simply for what it is it's not a healthier alternative it's just a different competitor towards lunchables that just has the same processed food ingredients and has electrolytes that aren't going to benefit the kids because they don't need that many amount of electrolytes not that it even gives them the proper amount of electrolytes that they need anyways and the lunchables chocolate bar is just as healthy as the other alternatives that is that was already being fed to kids through Lunchables. So Dantidia makes this response tweet and then Logan and fucking KSI then proceed to go and try to save their ass the entire time. Logan makes this tweet showing like the comparisons between the two of them. Immediately gets community noted and it says the 400 milligrams of electrolytes claim appears incorrect. The 12 ounce strawberry banana prime of the Fiesta nachos and the 12 ounce ice pop prime of the turkey stackums both have 500 milligrams of potassium not 400 milligrams and that's exactly what it is i've been showing off these videos of other people's content in my own video of them explaining as to why prime isn't all that healthy for you considering what it has and yes it does have electrolytes but the problem that it has is that it has 500 milligrams of potassium and that's it right it has 500 milligrams of potassium and nothing else when the thing that you sweat out of your body is sodium so you sweat salt out from your body so when you're being really hyperactive and you're doing physical activities you're going to be sweating a lot so obviously what you're going to need is that you're going to need some sort of hydration drink that replenishes the salt within your body so you can continue to keep being more active and sweat more so what do you do you drink something with sodium in it. So you need a hydration drink that has sodium in it. You don't want to drink Prime because it has no sodium in it whatsoever. It just has 500 milligrams of potassium for the electrolytes and then that's it. It doesn't do anything else for you other than to just be a sweetened, an artificial sweetened coconut water drink. And that's all it is. Plenty of other videos, plenty of other content creators have already talked about this plenty and they can explain it in a much better way than I can in this short amount of time that I have to record this. So he makes this video and then he just proceeds to continue to keep responding to more people talking about this and community that continues to keep fucking correcting him over and over and over again, getting extremely mad at the community and the community notes people like totally correcting him about this and then logan responds saying i'll tell you what happened to youtubers we spent our lives creating content and building our brands now we want to build businesses you don't say anything when lunchables forces bans for allegedly containing lead but when we have a better version you're upset then don't eat it and then community notes response with prime hydration llc was filed against at for including lead at three separate occasions with the third being on march 24th of 2024 commenting on lunchables lead findings while including a drink also known to have lead inside a meal pack is very hypocritical it is very hypocritical prime has lead in it they were sued for it on three separate occasions and the fact that he's trying to say that lunchables has it is hilarious considering that i think it was um Oompaville. he made a tweet responding that every food product ever has lead in it so to try to claim that yours has no lead in it at all is hilariously incorrect so ksi then responds to dan tdm's tweet and he responds with images of a, a toy and from two heroes two toys from two heroes and a u2s uh which we'll get into why that's hilarious in a second but he says uh looks like crap to me and then the community notes responds with not only has ksi worked with them before the ceo of u2s austin long got his start by managing the sidemen and was an executive producer under youtube red show it's just hilarious Hilarious, right it's hilarious that he, he brings this up at all because it just comes off as deflecting and that's exactly what it is right he did it's him trying to deflect dan tdm's criticism in any way whatsoever people then respond that they're trying to bring up these action figure toys 
of Dan TDM is hilarious because he's responding directly to the food you're trying to promote to your fans. And so he responds saying, but, 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 he was talking about food, JJ. He was sponsored and then promoted and made a whole video on Munchpack, a monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids. Now what? And then the community notes responds to him saying, Dan TDM posted this video on his third channel nine years ago. He also did not create or have any stakes and lunch pack. So yeah, the video that he found where he promotes these uh this this lunch pack, right? This this pack from Munch Pack that has a bunch of candy and other snacks in it was from nine years ago. Whoop de fucking do, right? Like he doesn't have any sticks in it whatsoever. He didn't create it. He's he doesn't promote it anymore, right? And he probably regrets promoting it in, in the first place anyways. And yet he wants to bring this up as like some sort of like burn on Dan TDM. Like, oh wow, like you were promoting like like unhealthy snacks to your friends before in the past. Uh, what are you gonna do about that now? And what's hilarious about this whole thing is the fact that it, this was found on JJ's Reddit. It was found on KSI's Reddit. Someone found the videos and the screenshots and he posted it on on reddit and jj or ksi i guess he found it and was like yeah i'm gonna go ahead and post that for myself right because i need something to say about this because i'm currently getting flamed by the entirety of twitter and in and, and youtube as well because a bunch of content creators were also responding to the same uh like jacksepticeye oh you mess with dan tdm you mess with youtube and i thought that was funny ksi on his second channel jj Yolotunji, then decides to make this entire fucking video where it's basically just him yapping and complaining and coping that oh well dan tdm started this in the first place he didn't have to say anything about like our product at all he didn't have to do this and that and yada 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 yada, yada. and it's like he was simply just another creator responding to what other creators were doing if you were actually a very like smart and mature person you could have just saw this and not say anything about it at all but because you felt so butt hurt about what he had to say about your product you felt that you had to say something about it regardless so you make these these, these immature tweets and these just like completely idiotic fucking tweets saying the dumbest shit imaginable and then you have to double down with this entire fucking video where you're trying to say oh well he started this he did this and that and yada yada you're deflecting like in the entire point of his criticisms towards you and your product to begin with and you're also trying to def de deflect it even further by mentioning other creators candy products such as phase rug and ryan trahan completely neglecting the fact that M M phase rug for all intents and purposes, doesn't try to pretend that his product is a healthier snack alternative to whatever else that he's in the market for. He's not trying to pretend like his, his sour candy sugar challenge is healthy for kids. He's trying to promote it as this fun little challenge that kids can do with their friends to try to see if they can handle the sour taste of the candy without making a face or spitting it out. That's the whole point of why he's trying to create these uh, this candy for his child audience. He's not trying to pretend that it's something that it's fucking not, right? He comes completely acknowledges exactly what it is he knows what's in it but he also acknowledges that people are going to be smart enough as to whether or not they actually want to partake and eat this candy or not right he knows that people are smart enough to decide for themselves if they want to eat this or not the funny thing about mentioning ryan trahan's candy is that from first glance right i'm not going to pretend like i know exactly what i'm talking about but from first glance just from looking at the ingredients and looking at how much sugar that his joyride candy has uh it has less sugar it doesn't have artificial sweetening anything in it it doesn't have any of the bullshit that's in normal sour candy or just in candy in general and it actually is trying to be a healthy alternative especially because of the fact that it's low sugar whilst also using plant-based uh, ingredients to to make it vegan and try to make it as healthy as possible even though it's still candy and it still has to have some sugar in it in order to give it some tastings and some sweetening to it as well as a couple other things it's still from the first glance from what i can tell someone else who's much smarter than me in this in this avenue could probably look into it a little bit more it looks healthier than the stuff that they're trying to put into lunchly which would be mr beast's feastables which we already know isn't as healthy as he claims it to be and something else about joyride as well is that it actually had been around a lot longer before ryan trahan actually agreed to hop on the project and uh also it's it's owned by a guy who has been around in the industry for a long time now so it just seems a lot more obvious that ryan trahan's candy while still being candy is still trying to be healthier and to some degree for kids to enjoy rather than what they're trying to give kids through lunchly through feastables and through prime 
KSI brings this up, he brings these other two creators and their own products to deflect any sort of criticism made towards him because he can't accept that he may potentially be wrong. He may potentially be in the wrong in this situation and he doesn't want to acknowledge the fact that people hate Logan and Mr. Beast right now because of all the accusations being thrown towards them right now. Logan with the constant lawsuits that he's currently in for scamming his fucking fans at the moment, right? Because he still hasn't paid back any of the people that got scammed through CryptoZoo. You have all the shit going on with Mr. Beast right now with knowingly hiring a, a sex offender onto his team to be a manager for him. All the misogyny that's currently happening with all the female uh, cont contestants in all of his fucking Mr. Beast games and even the Beast games themselves that has partnered with Amazon. And so Someone, as of recently, having to be hospitalized because of something that happened on set. So all this crazy shit that's currently happening with the two people that you're working with right now, and you know that this is happening because obviously this is being told towards you and you definitely heard about this, but instead of caring about the integrity of the product that you're trying to sell and caring about the integrity of the people that you're working with, you instead see the potential profit that you're going to get from this and say, oh, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to create this uh, lunchly or Lunchables competitor editor and try to make as much money as we possibly can from our child audience because we know they're going to go ahead and buy it if we just shove it into their face as much as possible because that's exactly what you've done with prime you know that the shit that's in it is just artificial sweetened coconut water you know that it doesn't actually uh, like give any actual electrolytes that benefits the body in the first place not that a kid should be buying lunchly for the electrolytes to begin with because they're not they don't need that many amount of electrolytes because they're not going to be that active because they're just little, little kids that are probably mostly just staying inside most of the time because they have their fucking smartphones. Even though that's not good for them as well, they should be more active. It's just absolutely fucking insane that this is the avenue that he decides to take this. This is what he decides to do to respond to Dan TDM and to everyone making criticisms towards him. He wants to deflect this. He doesn't want to like take any of the criticism whatsoever. He doesn't want to take anything into accountability whatsoever. He doesn't even want to take this into consideration that he might actually be wrong about everything that he's saying. Instead, he just says, oh, everyone hates them for no reason. Oh, they just want to shit on him for no reason. They want to do this and that and yada yada. And this is how he responds. And it's absolutely fucking embarrassing. I would be absolutely fucking embarrassed to have this type of video on my YouTube channel. I think that him posting this is one of the most embarrassing fucking things that he's ever done. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say about KSI responding to Dan CDM. This is all I have to say about Logan Paul responding to Dan CDM. I just voice cracked a little bit there, I think. <laughs> I just voice cracked again. Holy sh**. If I'm to be completely fair, I think Mr. Beast is the only person that had the actual best response to all the claims and all of the stuff that people have been saying about Lunchly. I think he's the only person out of the three to actually have like a mature response made about this. But I can't even trust that it was him who wrote it out in the first place because it was probably his like like lawyers his law team like or whatever it was it was probably someone else who decided to make it uh, make the post and post it on his twitter account i can't even trust that it was mr beast himself that actually made that anyways yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about this entire situation it's kind of ridiculous um just the way that ksi responded to this was what frustrated me the most because I don't even really hate him, right? I have actually found some of KSI's videos on his JJ Ilotsum Ju channel to be kind of funny, right? Because I do find him to be an entertaining creator. I just can't support some of the business ventures that he decides to join a part of. And I don't think anyone else should be allowed to accept that as well if they're a fan. If they have something to say about it, they should have something to say about it. And they did on his Reddit. And instead, KSI just decides to go ahead and insult their intelligence and say... Oh, anyone who's saying this, that, and the other about uh, Lunchly and about KSI and Logan and Mr. Beast, um, they're just chatting shit. Oh, they're just saying this, that, and the other. Oh, they're just hating for no reason and all that bullshit. And, and anyone else who's saying otherwise, like, they're just me writing the fuck out of these guys. Like, oh, they're the ones who are actually saying the logical stuff, right? Like, they're the ones saying the logical shit. They're the ones who are actually intelligent. Whatever. That's all I have to say about the situation. Yeah, I just, had, I just had to say something about it because when I saw the video yesterday, I just couldn't believe that he thought that this was the thing that he wanted to post on his YouTube channel. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to go ahead and give a channel shout out to Pedro360 for being the only member on my YouTube channel. Uh, I would really appreciate if you guys considered becoming a member on a YouTube channel. That would be amazing. But without further ado, I'll go ahead and wrap things up.
If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, turn on bell notifications so you never miss another video. Consider joining the channel memberships. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next one. I'm out. Peace.